Welcome to another exciting episode of the Business of Digital podcast, featuring your host, Matt Siltala and Dave Rohr. Hey guys, excited to chat with you today. Um, how's it going, Dave? It is going well. All right, sir. So, you know, you and I, again, we're just going to jump right into this, my friend. Um, we don't want to waste people's time. <laughs> I have to remind myself of that every once in a while that, uh, you know, part of the reason we started this is because we wanted to just jump into it and not waste your time. So um, we wanted to, to break down kind of some different options for uh, site hosting and specifically podcast site hosting. But um, as you know, Dave, you and I are always on the circuit speaking on this and people are always asking us and, um, you know, this is something that uh, you, Dave, felt that this was going to be a good uh, standalone topic and uh, I, I think it's fantastic. I think it's a great idea because um, one of the questions that I'm asked a lot and probably, well, I don't know that it's like one of the most, but it's definitely like in the top five questions that I'm asked is, you know, where should I host this or where should I do this? And and the more that we're getting into to podcasting, the more people are starting to reach out to us about different, you know, various podcasting questions. And one of them is the hosting. And so um, I feel like I'm, uh, or I feel like this is a great topic for us to jump into. And so I'm kind of going to just let you jump into it, my friend, and, and just kind of uh, share your thoughts on why you wanted uh, us to chat about this. And let's just go from there. So... I think for every company, every person, every, you know, podcast and business and whatever you're using it for influencer, whoever, whoever, and whoever, and whatever. <laughs> I All think, the evers. Yeah. It's always going to depend. And I think that's one of the reasons why anytime I've created a deck and I think you've created a deck and I've even looked over it, the question and the amount that we get into hosting or that we even talk about it for your podcast. And this is, I'm just mostly going to talk about your podcast itself although i'll talk a little bit about how we do it currently there's so many ifs and questions it's really a difficult thing it's almost like when someone says i need a car <laughs> i need a new car yeah like well that's a good good analogy yeah well and, and you start to think about and, and i'll really start to dig into some of the questions here it's like things you have to think about how often will you podcast is it a weekly daily monthly how long will your podcast be is it going to be a five minute every day? And if it's five minutes every day, five days a week, that's really only 25 minutes a week. That's about equal to one of our shows a week. So 25, 30 minutes. Is it going to be an hour a week? Is it going to be two hours a week? How many people are you going to have on that recording? Because then that file starts to get really big the longer it is. Um, what level of stats do you want? Like right now, um, without getting too far into it, our level of stats, I think, is okay, but that's one of the reasons where I'm, I've am i spent a bunch of time recently and why I came up with the topic for this, because I've been looking at some of our options to see, can we do better? Do you want to use your own domain? Do you have one already? Are you going to put it on a subdomain? Are you going to put it on its own domain like we do with the business of, pot, business of digital? Are you just going to have it be you know a folder and part of your brand? Do you care about ad insertion? There's actually some hosts and some solutions that do a lot of ad insertion and actually drop you into a marketplace. So you get validated stats and you, they have technology that can actually insert ads for you. So it's not like you have to, like we've done in the past where we just do reads. Um, I think it's, you're in the radio business. Is that what it is? It's a read? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. I learned Nailed something it. at some point. Um, Thank you to my wife. I think she's the one that taught me that. Um, <laughs> you know, do you want to do ads in general? Do you care about that stuff? The number of plays and the amount of bandwidth you use. Well, uh, and, and, and kind of with what you were talk, talking about, just with the, the level of stats, I, you know, it's something that I'd never even thought of even when we got into it. And I didn't really think about it more until, you know, the bigger or the more listeners and the, the more people that knew about us got out there and the words were, you know, the, the word of mouth or whatever. Um, it is I'm looking for and people were coming to us and, and wanting to pay for sponsorships and stuff. Well, that kind of stuff becomes important because then you have to know like how many listeners you're getting in on average and, and a lot of those uh, stats that they're asking, you know, where something I hadn't even thought of. I was just like, Hey, let's start podcasting because we hate writing, <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, it wasn't even. It was like we'll we'll track it as best we can, but it wasn't the goal. So it didn't. It wasn't of the utmost importance. Yeah, and that is starting to change for us. Thus, why I've started looking again. Um, and then it goes also to some solutions offer players or different modules that you can drop into a site. So even if you're not, if you're you know having it on your website as a standalone type of thing, you can easily drop in a player and you don't have to update all sorts of pages and different things. Or you can use a solution like we use, which is more of a WordPress theme plugin type mashup. Um, I don't know what to call it. Um, it's a bit of everything. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a series of plugins that allows us to take a WordPress or a WordPress theme and make it podcast friendly. I mean, that's when you start thinking about hosting, it's not just it, price. It's not, oops, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to ask, and, and that begs the question because you're the one that handles, um, you know, all the, the, the WordPress technical theme, headaches. the technical stuff for <laughs> us here on the show. Uh, if you love how it looks and everything like that, you got to get, you know, next time you see Dave, buy him a beer, you know, because he's the one that handles all that. But uh, but that, you know, brings up a good question. So when you say, you know, a, a podcast type theme, how did you find a podcast type theme for us? How did you, you know, did you search for it? Is there, you know, what are the options or what's the process that you went about that? There are, I mean, the start with, I think I started with just like literally like, WordPress podcast theme in Google or Bing. Okay. Um, and from there, I just done, went down rabbit holes. I <laughs> usually, <laughs> I usually go to theme forest for most of that kind of stuff and at least see what's there. I don't always buy from them. Um, in, in Vanto, I think is their parent name. Um, and that's kind of where I start just to see what's out there. And then everyone's always got some affiliate type site where they list out a bunch of free ones. Um, usually you get what you pay for and that kind of stuff. Yep. I think ours cost, I don't know, 15 to $30, maybe 40 for our theme. It's not bad because it's a very decent no. theme. Um, I spent some time just, you know, tweaking it. So improving a little bit of the SEO, improving it so it didn't look like every other person using that theme. Switched yep. some <laughs> colors, um, probably pulled out some some JavaScript and some other stuff just from a speed standpoint. Is there more I could probably do? Yes. If there's someone that's really deep into technical SEO and speed and they look at our site, they probably throw me under a bus. Um, Chuck, stay away. Yeah, Chuck. There's someone, you know, certain people, <laughs> other people I know. But is it faster than it was? Yes. Does yeah. it work? Yes. <laughs> well, and that's been our thing from the beginning with this podcast. Just, you know, we wanted to get it out there and get as much useful information to people as we can. And so a lot of that stuff, uh, you know, that might be more important to other people is not as important to us. And that's why I think it was the perfect, uh, you know, kind of intro with what you did about, you know, what is your goal with it? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? And so like, that's kind of why we're sharing these insights. It's perfect. Well, and for us, the self-hosted site was the one of the most important, at least for me, I, I, I'm, I'm sure for both of us, because we couldn't put it, we couldn't decide. We, uh, it would be weird if we put it on just my company's website or just yours. Yeah. And so for us, the self-hosted third-party kind of branded made complete sense. So that eliminated great. a lot of solutions, which goes to the, are you going to, or do you need to self-host? Are you okay with pod, I'm, what I call pod hosting site? So a lot of the providers and some of them only allow you to create a little like about me page on their subdomain or on their site somewhere. And right. that's the only way you can do it unless you use a player. Uh -huh. Or you can use um, some sort of theme or something else and use like an AWS SoundCloud solution where it's, it's either a file hosted somewhere and then you just pull it in or SoundCloud is kind of a third party site. I, I think it kind of falls under pod hosting, but not really, because they really just host your file and you get an about page. And I, I don't know, for some reason, I just don't see them as the same as the other pod hosting, the pod cast hosting type sites that are out yeah. there, like a Podbean or um, Buzzsprout or some of the other ones are, um, what is it, Libsyn? I just had it open. I always forget how to say their name. Yeah, Libsyn. 
um, are some of the more popular ones. And if you're writing those down, it was Podbean, Libsyn, Buzzsprout, and then there's also Blueberry, B-L-U-B-R-R-Y. Um, I think most often, sometimes they might just show up because they do have affiliate programs. So, you know, take everything with a grain of salt mm -hmm. when you see people suggesting it and look at the prices and everything else. And it goes back to those questions I listed off. And if you want to see all the questions, we will put it in the summary because um, I literally had to write all of those out. And there's others, but I think it comes down to for like for us, I was saying it's the self-hosting site really made it so that I had we needed to do that. And to have a podcast that does touch on SEO often, it did not make sense to go to the podcast hosting site where, you know, we don't get to control it. Yeah, we'd get yelled at for that too. <laughs> Would you, yeah, we'd certainly get yelled at for that and we should. Those sites, I, you just don't control it. Yeah, it's, it, it goes back to all those things like, you know, being in a bad neighborhood and, and you know, what happens if so-and-so place ever goes down you know it's like i we tell people forever hey should i get on yellow page as well okay anyway it's just it's that whole that 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 whole uh, side of it that you could go down as well well and there's pros and cons so the pro is for those types of solutions is you don't have to worry about updating your website you don't have to worry about your web host which is a different you know monthly payment um on top of your podcast file hosting but what we do and one of the reasons why out of the gate to save money and just to get it up, we literally host our files. Um, I've looked at AWS um, as a solution just for speed to get it to you guys quicker. But for right now, it's literally just been on our web host. And so far, they haven't throttled me. And we go through a fair amount of bandwidth <laughs> every month. Yeah. Um, I mean, work it till it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, and so I, I think we're getting to that point where they might start to, you know, send us emails. So I've started looking and trying to get ahead of it to at least have a plan. Gotcha. Um, because I, we still are going to stay on a self-host, um, but we might move the files off. But then that also, like I was saying, eliminates some of those pod hosting solutions. But it still leaves open AWS and SoundCloud, but... It goes back to what I said earlier. What is important to you? And for us, one of the important things is self-hosting, but now more than ever, um, some bandwidth is probably be gonna start becoming a problem. Um, we don't hit the number of plays, but some of the bandwidth just with our current hosting and the stats detail. We right. get stats, like iTunes gives us stats directly, Spotify does, but for all of the other stuff and just as the aggregate, um, we use, what do we use? I wrote it down. It's right in front of me somewhere. It's a uh, simple, what is it? I have it open. Um, it's in one of your decks I was looking at the other day. <laughs> Sim it's like simple podcast um, oh. or seriously simple. There you go. Sorry. They, um, it uses stats and I can pull it from our log files as well. And I do pull some from our log files, but is it exact? No. Do I want better data? Yes. And that's why, again, goes back to what's important. Stats have become more important for us, so we're starting to look. Yeah, and I and I think and we're in two to, years in. Well, yeah, and and I, I and I laugh sometimes because it's crazy to think about that just two years. But anyway, I laugh at some of the stuff that you send over. Sometimes you're like, "Hey, man, check this out! This huge uh, spike. Not quite sure what happened, but yeah, I'll take it." So yeah, it's just. It, it, it get, uh, goes to what you're saying. Yeah, and I just want to have more insight. I mean, I can when I see spikes, the only way I can really start to dig in to see if it's real or not is start to look at our log files. And I was doing that last week hmm. because we had two days where it spiked. And I had to block a bot because some of it was from a bot. Gotcha. Or, well, some of it was from a bot, but I don't think it's a real bot. It's just hiding on an AWS IP address. So Interesting. Yeah. So for us, the, the, you know, crap data in crap data out, I want better data. Um, and I know, like I said, our bandwidth is going to start becoming an issue with our current host, but you know, we, we talk about, you got to start somewhere. 
we're almost two years in and we're now looking at, you know, moving to a, a better host. Well, and I, and I, I think that's such a good point you make because, and it's something that you and I talked about before we even started doing this. We're like, okay, look, there's going to be a lot of stuff that we do wrong when we start this. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we do right. But you know what? If everything needs to be perfect before we start, we're never going to start. Yeah. And, and I, and you know, I know that, uh, I'm not as much of a perfectionist, uh, and, and I'm not saying that you are, but I know at that, my sites? No, no. <laughs> but like, I think it was a good way to go about, you know, doing it the way we did it. Cause I don't think we would have ever got going if we said, Hey, everything has to be perfectly in place before this happens. I, I mean, I think about all the different, you know, solutions that we used for recording at first, the different, you know, headphone setup, mic setups, the different things like that. And so like, if we were, if we were solely focused on that and making sure everything was perfect and studios and sound, you know, it, it would have taken away from our, our point of this podcast was to just you still wouldn't be live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we still wouldn't be live. And, you know, I've had so many people tell like the, for the exact reasons that, that we started this, Hey, we just, we have a lot to say. We don't like writing and we feel like you could learn and benefit from this. It's not perfect. And if you can deal with it, not being perfect, then you're going to learn and you're going to enjoy it. And so many people have reached out and said, I love it for that exact reason. So again, just letting, just putting that out there because anyone that's listening, thinking about doing this, I want them to know that, Hey, don't put it off until you think it has to be perfect. You can get going with it. And hopefully a lot of this that we're giving you makes it easier than what we went through. <laughs> and hopefully we suck a little less each week. Yes. And I'm pretty sure we do. <laughs> Most, most of the time, maybe yeah. not all the time. If we can even break even, I'll take that some weeks. <laughs> all but, right. Well, just, um, you know, just for, for those people that are super interested in that, think that they're going to start their podcast and, and, and get going on this. Um, just kind of give us your, your final thoughts on this in the last few minutes, Dave, and, and wrapping it up what, what people should be doing with, um, uh, podcast site hosting options. I think it'll come down to you need to weigh the pros and cons of a self host versus the podcast hosting like little domain page versus using a a third party like an AWS or SoundCloud. Um, and you know you might think SoundCloud is more of a podcasting site, whatever. Um, you know, and right now we are on the full self hosting, looking at using a third party just for hosting our files, just for that better data. Um, and for the restriction, because of the restrictions on certain things. Um, and the one thing I will say is when you start looking for pricing out it, hosting, think about the most you will record in a month and think about how long it will be and then look. Um, because a lot of the places base it on not your downloads, um, but there is kind of a cap. Some of them are like 25, 25,000 to 40,000. It starts to jump up pretty quickly. Um, sadly, we're not doing that many. Um, <laughs> so it's not a problem yet. One day. One day. There we go. Goals. Goals, goals are for our hosting to be a problem like that. Yes. Um, but if you care about doing ad insertion, if you care about the ads and the, the, the networks that they have built in, if you care about just the valid stats and some of that type of stuff, then also take that into consideration heavily with who you look at to host with. Um, Price-wise, some of them start free, but you give up some stuff, um, and then they range anywhere from six to twelve dollars, and then twelve to twenty dollars is kind of the next one, and then it can kind of jump up to about twenty-nine, I think, to about fifty dollars which is not, we're not near that yet. Um, I think we're gonna end up in the 12 to $20 based on features, uh, bandwidth plays, and some of the other stuff and just the flexibility that I want for us to be able to keep doing what we're doing. Right. So I think we'll probably end up in the $12 range with flexibility to move up more, but yeah, we're somewhere in that range. Not bad at all. Which isn't bad. I mean, you know, that's what two beers for me at a, a, at a brewery, you know, <laughs> you getting, you know, one less, one less taco quesadilla dinner for you, you know, a month. It's not That's bad. Right. Nope. Not it's bad really not that much. <laughs> Priorities, right? Yeah. Well, and then I'm, 
I have us on um, for our web host. I have us up a level that more than I need to be because I wanted to make sure that we didn't run afoul of bandwidth and stuff. And what I can do is I can turn it back down. So some of that twelve dollars or fifteen or twenty dollars will actually get back a month. Oh, nice. So if, you know, all in, we're going to be somewhere between fifteen and twenty dollars a month for our hosting. Not bad for what it is. And there's people that spend a lot more. Good for them. And you know what? Spend at less, some good point, for them too. Well, yeah, and at, and at some point we might and probably will as well. So it's just like you said, knowing where you're at and uh, going from there. So very cool. Yep. All right. Well, um, uh, that'll that'll do it for us, you guys. For Dave Rohr with Northside Metrics, I'm Matt Silvola with Avalanche Media, and we appreciate you guys taking some time and listening to us chat with you about podcast site hosting options. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye bye. Thanks.